Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Just trying to get out of here and hearing about all the traffic delays everywhere. I'm thinking, what right. the heck? <laughs> that terrific. is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The traffic is terrific. Is that what the, how the song goes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Never got that like, part, but whatever. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking uh, maybe horrific would be more appropriate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Morning, so, y'all. Good morning, morning, Eva. Where the heck have you been? I thought I you know. were in Vegas. Oh, I, no, I've been, I, I haven't been feeling well, so but it's okay now. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah. good, good. Good deal. I was about to, you know, send somebody out looking for you. <laughs> I was in it. I was getting ready to volunteer. In fact, I <laughs> meant to send you a message yesterday, and the day got away from me. So, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm okay now. Well, yeah. Good deal. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Just all Good the enough. traveling and everything, and all the people hacking and coughing along the way get to you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just staring you out. Completely being worn out and trying to get caught up yeah. on some rest. Yeah. Yeah. Monday, Monday, I just couldn't get up. I mean, I was exhausted. I just yeah. couldn't get out of bed. Uh, you know, and, it, and the problems started there, and plus other stuff. But you know, I won't, I won't get into that. So I'm okay now. Uh, getting better anyway. Good deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna put up. Great. I was going to put a post on Facebook and I haven't got around to it yet, but uh, saying how, uh, you know, hey, how well you kept up with everything. I mean, you were, <laughs> you were everywhere. <laughs> you did great. And never, you know, I mean, I, I kept turning around and checking on you and Jason and it's like, holy cow, still, still coming. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, no, keep, I, I appreciate that so back. much. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. You know, yeah. it's like like having an extra kid that you have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, we all yeah. we all play our part and we all help each other, and, and that's what I just love about this team because you know y'all weren't gonna let Jason <laughs> Jason fall behind, and uh, you, you know everybody worked together. You know, some people ran ahead, got seats. Um, you know, I, I think we have an awesome team, and we all work we do. so we very well together. Yeah, we so, certainly do. Yes. I mean, yeah. and like um, having, uh, you know, Jason roomed with uh, Candace and Jake, and and Beverly roomed with me, and you know, and had to bring her own sheets. <laughs> <laughs> it's like crazy uh, stuff, but uh, you know, it all worked out. And, it sure uh, did, yes. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so you've been laid up, so you don't have anything going on, really. Are you planning on going tomorrow night to? Um, yes. David and Taurus. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I, I Make know. Make sure you uh, wear your ugly sweater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I the ugly sweater contest. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I got my ugly sweater yesterday. Okay, yeah. You it, wore it Walmart yesterday. has Claire's. a lot of ugly sweaters. Huh? Oh, I know. Really cute ones, too. Yeah, Claire's going, and I don't know who all else. Um, Candace, are y'all going? Candace is on. Hi. Okay, we, I'm gonna. I have to get my white all, elephant gift still. I think our goal is to try to meet people one on one, or basically like coffee shop stuff. So if we don't have any appointments, then yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Exactly. Keep those going. Keep the. Uh, you know, this is where we build for that um, January event. So. It, you know, think back to what we did in September, August and September, and it's the same type thing. So we start with the, you know, building rapport, you know, the forming them, 
and getting to that coffee shop appointment and then building on that to the January event. But, um, you know, but hey, along the way, if they say, you know, I want to know more, I want, you know, I want to get on the product, by all means, you know, sign them up for the product or um, connect them with Casey or, you know, do whatever it takes to, you know, go ahead and get that happening. We've got so many people that are close to making the next rank. And, um, you know, it's already, what, the 18th, I think. Let's not yeah, let that, you. yeah, let's not let that slip by, because it can. I mean, it, we're going to have Christmas, and everybody's, you know, life jumps in the way then. So make sure that you're actively working your business each day. Especially if you, you know, if you've got it in your head that you're going to be that next rank, you, what does that take? It takes work, action. So, uh, you know, to be in at that event tomorrow night, fantastic. Bring people. If you've got people to bring, um, you know, that'll be the perfect atmosphere so they can see that we have fun and uh, that we enjoy working together and how well we work together. People want to be a part of that. People are missing missing out on fun if they're sitting at a, in a cubicle. So they want that that enjoyment of and fellowship that we have. So what else? Uh, did everybody get to read the chapter 15 of Think and Grow Rich that uh, Jake was talking about? Eva, did you get a chance? Did you see that post? Yes, I was. Uh, I started reading it this morning. Yes, I oh, had okay. sent a note to Jake yesterday, right? Okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. It's a uh, definitely it's excellent. An, <laughs> and it yes. seems like it it fit me perfect. <laughs> Indifference, indecision, down, worry, over all cautious, procrastination. I said, oh Lord, somebody's reading <laughs> my mind here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all needed uh, to see that. I think we all needed to yes, see that. Yes. And to be aware of not only our own, but that our, you know, we all have uh, different things that, you know, and, and understanding others, understanding yeah. uh, uh, what other people are going through. Because, you know, you might think, like, I, I you know, I might think, well, I don't have that fear. I don't have, you know, but then I can understand where, oh, where it's yeah, coming no, from, no. where mm -hmm. somebody else has that fear. And I mean, mm -hmm. I can, and especially when you find out what their fear is, it's like, oh, I, I know why, you know, I know why that pops into their head. You know, I, I like to kind of analyze some things like that. And, you know, mm -hmm. you see no, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Claire, are you at work? Are you at where you can talk? I'm at work. I'm here. I was looking <laughs> over um, chapter 15. I did start reading it at lunchtime the other day and didn't get through it all because um, I got sidetracked. But right. I was looking at it and definitely um, indifference. I was like, dang, that's me. <laughs> and I mean that's just the first one. I haven't gone through all the others, so yeah. So um, elaborate a little bit more on that, if if you don't mind. Well, it, it just it, it it's indifference commonly expressed through lack of ambition, willingness to tolerate po poverty, acceptance of whatever co compensation life may offer without protest. I mean, just those three right there. Um, mental yeah. and physical laziness, lack of initiative, imagination, enthusiasm, and self-control. I mean, mm -hmm. that is me right there. I mean, every mm -hmm. one of them. Yes. And then oh, yeah. indecision, you know, it, that just like is scary. <laughs> <laughs> scary but true. Um, that's, I don't know, I guess I need to get through it to see how I can work on that. I mean, because... 
I didn't realize it until I just read it. So I guess I've just got a slap in my face. So bear with me for being <laughs> stunned a second. <laughs> well, you know, what I was sharing with Jake on Monday with this is that, you know, we all have our um, belief in God. We're all, uh, I believe that all of us are on the same page there. And, um, and we know that, you know, in the Bible, it tells us to, you know, don't be anxious about anything and, and to, um, you know, through prayer and everything, you know, you can get through it and to know that he's going to provide for, I mean, even something as silly as, man, I don't have the right outfit to wear to whatever event. And then just, you know, sitting back and it's like, you've got everything you need, you know, and walk into your closet and figure it out. And it's like, you know what, this is perfect. This was the perfect thing to wear. Instead of thinking, you know, and, and also train your mind to think that um, instead of the mentality of I don't have and it could be money. I don't have the money to go to this event. I don't have um, whatever it is. Yeah, you have everything. You're fully equipped with everything that you need. And and if if you don't have it, he's going to provide. And so, you know, I always flip things around to that. And, uh, you know, and that takes away the, the fear and worry and frustration. I think. So um, a question for you. I'm sorry, Kathy. It, mm -hmm. When you say that I don't have, because I say I don't have a lot. And uh, I mean, a lot of times in my, it's in my vocabulary, I need to get it out. What is an alternative that I need to work towards to change? To well, I, that to the well, I, know. You know, <laughs> I, I can, you know, I can still decline the, the, idea of doing something it's like i choose not to spend my money on that right now i choose not to do that right now um okay. you know i've got this is my focus and you know and i'm thinking in my head you know i don't need to blow money on this when i've got this in my future and or reward yourself when that time comes when you reach that rank when you you know whatever or achieve that goal have that focus but um you know i i make great choices you know it might be something you'd say i you know i make um i'm making great choices that are leading to my um you know my future my that's leading to my me reaching my goals and achieving and seeing realizing those goals so so it's more about the, you know, I choose not to, um, you know, it's because okay. I, yeah, because I don't, um, that's not going to get me, you know, going out and having drinks with you isn't going to get me to my goal. So right. I'm going to, I choose to stay home and hang out in the hot tub. It's already paid for. <laughs> 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 and, that would be uh, nice you know, to have a list. Uh, it would be nice to have a list of things that you we commonly say that are kind of that are negative, and, yes. and, and and then what are the all, all alternative, positive way? I'm sure it's out there somewhere. If anybody knows, I'd love to yeah. see that. Well, I want to work it, on that because I know I say a lot of that. And it's just like affirmations when you're when you're looking at affirmations and you're reading them to yourself, be aware of what you're saying on those. Make it um, right now, you know, thank you uh, um, that, that this is, um, that I have this now, even when you don't have it, speak it into existence that you've got it. Um, thank you that I have the ability, ability to, um, you know, whatever it may be, um, it just speak it into existence now, even though you might not feel like you have uh, the confidence or whatever it is, 
you know, thank you for giving me the confidence to um, stand in front of this crowd and and do a presentation. Thank you for having, you know, given me all the right words to say in every situation. Thank you for, um, and I always say thank you because I'm talking to God. And so that's kind of different too. You don't have to do that. That's just me it, because I want to give thanks. And I think that's important. And that's one way to make sure that I'm doing it is to include it in my affirmations. So, and it's thanking him for what he's already done in me. So, just ideas. <laughs> so, anyone get anything, or did y'all did did I get did I turn into a robot? No, you're still, no, still Kathy. You're still Kathy right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking no. the back way to work, so who knows? Because I heard 45's a mess, but this is a mess too. Where yeah. do you? Jake, do you got anything? I heard you pop in. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Oh, there you are, yeah. So Quiet. for me, the easiest thing to do whenever I have that, that thought trying to cross my mind, I can't this or I, I don't have that or whatever the case may be, the easiest thing to do, if it's really something you're serious about, the easiest thing to do is just flip that around and say, how can I? Yeah. I don't have this. Well, how can I have that? Yeah. And yeah. And then all those it doesn't ideas mean that you're going to go ahead. Head. It doesn't mean that you're going to go ahead and do what you need to do to get it, but it changes your mind, your 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 mindset to a mindset of recognizing that you can have whatever you want. It's just a matter of how creative you are and how dedicated you are to getting whatever that is right like absolutely a lot of absolutely. people might say well you know what i don't have money to go to this event or i don't have money to invest in this or invest in that but then you turn around and you look in your driveway and maybe that person has a eighty thousand dollar mercedes there it's like yeah you actually do have an asset that you could convert into cash your mind yeah. is just not willing to do that right so, right there's very few things in life that we can't do. And especially in North America, a lot of us have things that if we really wanted to generate money or we really wanted to do something, we could give up and or sell a lot of things in our lives to make things happen. It's just interesting that most people are, are not willing to do that when it comes to push to shove. But yeah. that's the simplest thing, whatever it is. And it, just because you say, well, how could I do that? It doesn't mean that you're going to go out there and do it, but at least you're not telling yourself you can't. You're just acknowledging, well, I could do this and this and this, but maybe I'm not willing to do those things. Right. Exactly. And that's what I, and so you, exactly. You have the means to do anything you want to do. You've got, you can look around and nowadays, especially with all these apps where you can sell crap on the apps, look around. What is it? This is something that you haven't used in a while that you think you could make some money off of. Put it on the dang app, and guess what? You might have a somebody come to pick it up within 30 minutes, and and guess then you've got the money in your hands. So, but if you choose not to do something, that's one thing. But know know that that's your choice because you have everything you need. To, to go to that event, to, you know, to do, to buy that car, to whatever you want to do, you just got to shuffle some things around. So it's your, your choice is, no, I'm going to hang on to all this crap that I have and I'm not going to get that car, but that's your choice. But if you're like, I want to get this, you know, car, I want to, or I want to go on that trip. Well, let, guess what? I've got everything I need what do I need to do to make that happen? So yeah, fantastic. And that I used to always say, I always, you know, I may choose not to do something, but it's not because I don't have, I, I will ne you'll never hear me say, I don't have the money for that. That you're just, that's like a curse to me. Don't ever say that you don't have money for it. 
you hey, you've got everything that you need. You can turn right around. You can sell something. I've got something I can sell. If I wanted to do that, I've got you know the means. I've got a, a way to get the money to to do whatever it is. So I think that's you know kind of along the same lines. You can. It's just choices. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, and especially look at the business that we're in <laughs> we're, it, it's we've got products you know I, you might have you know 10 sample packs in your in your pantry like i do right now um sell them you know 25 bucks a piece sell them you know um it's christmas time people need stuff you know stocking stuff for here how about health you want to put some health in their stocking 25 bucks mm -hmm. so all you have to do is open your mouth look at grant cardone give me a hundred dollars give me a hundred dollars come on give me a hundred bucks well, you know people are going to all these like um white elephant things they should do a, a 24 Five seven day sample pack is a white elephant gift. There you go. There's your idea. Maybe not to the Kayani one, but right, right, yeah. But I work or social. That's a, that's a good the idea. Interesting Jan, if we thing have a the... white elephant for our work, for our help, uh, family. How about if all three of us gave that and we'll get three <laughs> samples out there? <laughs> yeah, let's set the example. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Good morning, Terry. Oh, good morning. Also, um, this is an emotional game that we all kind of play with ourselves is figuring out, you know, our, our logical mind says we want to do this. And emotionally, we may have all these other distractions and things going on in our world. But, you know, it, you look at examples around the world and there's a reason that like Marines sing when they're running through the mud and freezing weather in these boots that weigh too much with backpacks that weigh 60 or 80 pounds. And the reason that they're, they're singing is because they're training their mind to enjoy what they're doing. Yep. If their mind enjoys it, then it's easier to accomplish it at a better, you know, better, a better performance. And that's just, that's just part of it. If we, if we link pain and pleasure with making the right, if we may link pleasure to making the right choices, like going out and talking to 10 new people a day, or, you know, talking to people about products every single day for a month, it's actually much easier to accomplish that because the mind is looking for something that's repetitive on our part, our actions. And then it turns it into a habit and it turns it into a belief and it's there forever. Yep. Until we decide to change those habits. So whatever it is, that's difficult for us. If we just push ourselves through the hard part of doing it for 21 days or 30 days, basically we can turn that into a good habit that actually helps us get out of whatever rut that we're in right there. And it can also turn us into that magnetic, uh, you know, force that draws good people to us as well. Right. A lot of us are too shy to go out and speak and, you know, on a big stage at uh, one of the Toastmasters or at one of the Kayani functions. And that's difficult for us. But we can turn ourselves into the magnet where we attract people who are either better speakers than us or that we push ourselves to the point where we're good enough in small groups that we can step onto a stage like Eric Thomas did. Um, I'd go pro in front of 5,000 people or 10,000 people. And just like, it's like talking to your next door neighbor or your brother across the street. Yep. Yeah. That was so easy for him because he's done so many of those things like Grant Cardone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and like I mentioned yesterday, um, you know, leaving work Monday, I reached out to CC's guy. I always, I, I don't know why I can't remember his name. Shondi. Shondi, thank you. Man, I, that, you know, after having the day from hell with all my, you know, going back to your job after Vegas, changing her mindset to the, ugh, you know, grind, <laughs> and, um, and having all the systems change while I was gone, uh, you know, surprise. Then, you know, it's like after that day, it's like, okay, let's, let's plug into Kayani because I want that feeling again. 
I want, uh, you know, our network marketing. I want that feeling again because I love it. And so I reached out to Shandi and he sent me voice messages back. And then you just feel the energy with that. I was like, man, you know, so yeah, when you're doing something and, and you find enjoyment with it, you know, you, it brings you back to doing it again. Let's do it again. Let's, you know, let's follow up with somebody else. Let's, uh, you know, let's make those calls because, you know, it's enjoyable and let's be the joy on the other end of the line, um, for that person as well. Um, you know, cause they may have had the crappy day at corporate that I had, um, you know, be the joy on the other end of the line for them. And, uh, and so they can see that there is something else out there. It's like, what the girl, what are you so happy on a Monday for? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're going to get. So anyway, so yeah, I love, I love that Terry, you know, uh, singing while you're you know, running or, uh, you know, the Marine Corps thing. Cause Whatever, whatever's hard, just go ahead and tackle it head on. And we all have yeah. a tendency to kind of work around the edges and avoid the hard stuff. I do it all the time. But uh -huh. it's not it's not the way that they were telling us to do it at GoPro. And if those guys are the experts, and they are, and the millionaires on stage, then we need to follow at least the vast majority of that advice. Yeah. And I'm sitting here looking at uh, Grant Cardone's book, the 10X Quotes book, not the big one. But he's got things in here like real power only comes from repeating actions and build a fire so big and hot that even your comp competitors have to stare in amazement. <laughs> <laughs> those two things. If we did those two things, we would own the, uh, not only the market, but we'd have over ten billion dollars in business too. Yeah. So, yeah. We could put Grant Cardone to shame. It would be a terrible thing to do, but you know, <laughs> somebody's got to put him in his place eventually. I know. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> He's got a thousand dollars. Let's go. I'm going to jump off to uh, to another call uh, with a prospect, but. I'm really quickly going to run you guys. This this call is actually going to be the o official kickoff call to my next campaign that I've I've mentioned to you guys a few times, and uh, I haven't really gone over it. And one of the things I know about myself is a lot of things never get started really with me because my personality type wants everything to be detailed and perfect. And I don't like rolling things out until I have an answer to everything. So that's, that's partly why I haven't been discussing this with people yet, because I don't have all the answers. I don't have it all figured out, but I'm not going to let that hold me back. So basically this campaign, I'm calling it the who do you know campaign. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go back to our coffee shop interview style meetings but what I'm doing is I'm changing the intent and I'm basically going to sit down with people or get together with them on Zoom. I'm going to go over the products, primarily the Triangle of Health, but I'm going to go over the products and just quickly give them an overview just on the products, educate them on that. And then I'm going to go through at the end and say, hey, who do you know that's dealing with this, 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 this? I want them to know who these products help or who would be interested in using these products. And I'm trying to, A, get referrals out of them by asking mm -hmm. who they know could use these products. And then the last question I'm going to ask them after, after asking them who do they know, I'm going to ask them, hey, would you ever be interested in giving one of these a try? That's it. And I'm planting the seed. I'm getting the exposure out there. At the end of the day, we're a customer acquisition business. So that's what we should ultimately be after. And I know that's going to generate conversations around the business. And, you know, if we do a good job catching up with them, we're going to look at opportunities where maybe they might be a good business partner, but primarily I want to focus this campaign on the products. And uh, yeah, I got to jump off because this is starting at eight 30. So I'm one minute late already, but just so you guys know, that's what I'm going to be working on in this campaign. I will send a message out and uh, I'll fill you guys in with more details if you guys want to jump in on this too. But I think it's going to be a great way to get some exposures out there and definitely rack up some customers, not only uh, before Christmas, but also over the next little bit. But also when we start this right now, there's going to be an opportunity for people to recognize, especially with that skincare system, like, hey, this might be a great gift for 
to someone. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. You and Jake, well. I, thank you. That's awesome. Jake, I'll reach out to you later on today. I need to talk to you too. Okay, sounds good. We'll talk to you All right. soon. Take care. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I, I love the who do you know, and that's something too you can use uh, with people that either people that used to be customers that have stopped or people that. Uh, that you've talked to about it before, you know, you're getting them off the hook and you're, um, you know, who do you know? It's like, you know, they may say they don't have money, they don't have whatever, but you know, who do you know that might be interested in this? Who, who's, who do you know that's suffering with, um, arthritis? Who do you know that's got, um, you know, children with autism, um, you know, whatever the, the cases. So, yeah, I think that's great. And just to have those conversations and the coffee shop thing is atmosphere is prime. I love that. So yeah, I can't wait to see the uh, results of that too. So yeah, yeah. sounds good. Yep. All right, guys. If, yeah. If y'all don't have anything else, I'll let you go. Sounds good. Um, All Claire, right, have a great day. Uh -huh. yes. Claire, if you're out there and you hear about Toastmasters, let me know, please. Yeah, I don't think we have yeah. one until January. Okay, sounds I think good. We're done for the year, but uh, I definitely will include you on our mail outs. Thank you, ma'am. All right, everybody, have a great day. You too. Right, you too. I've All been right. here, but I've been Bye. coughing, so I'm <laughs> muted myself. <laughs> you're well. Right. No, bye, -bye. Right. bye bye. I'll talk to you in the morning. All right. Bye. Bye now. All right, bye-bye. It was great this morning. Yes, it was. Uh-huh.